Up first this morning, we are headed to Ballard. Chef Robbie Coquia has been cooking in Seattle restaurants for decades, but until now, he never cooked, professionally at least, the food that he ate growing up in Manila. Bunsoy, his new Ballard restaurant, is full of passion, featuring the dishes Robbie's family cooked for him in the Philippines. Lucky me, he's here to cook on New Day. Thank you for being here, Robbie. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks and what are, what are we going to cook, first of all? Because uh, we'll do that while we chat. Yeah, so we're going to cook our duck confit adobo. Mm. Uh, this is our take on a classic dish that's uh, really, really well known in the Philippines. It's called mm -hmm. adobo. Uh, we pretty much adobo anything. Uh, that's what we always say. It so can be seafood or vegetables or okay. poultry or pork. And yeah. So what does uh, adobo is like a verb then? You can adobo something. Yeah, you can adobo something. So um, it's pretty much all, all with the sauces. Um, it's with soy sauce, vinegar, uh, bay leaf, and sugar. Okay. Um, so we made our, our own different way of it and we made a gravy out of the adobo. Mm -hmm. uh, we duck on feed the duck and roasted potato uh, with the uh, duck, duck fat. And so everything is just kind of melt together and tastes like a traditional uh, duck adobo. I love all of this and it smells good already, but we're going to keep adding to it. So you learn to cook yeah. as a lot of people do, I guess, at home, but yes. it's, it's really sweet that you're carrying on your family traditions now at the restaurant. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm trying to do everything that I've learned from my parents, uh -huh. um, cooking with them back when I was little. And now I'm taking it in, into a little different way, you know, my, my take on, on Filipino food. And when you, when you see it, it looks totally different, but then yeah. when you put it in your mouth, it really gives you this nostalgic feeling of like, oh yes, this tastes like my mom. Oh, that's or, great. Or my dad's or my aunties. So people like who are familiar with Filipino food will be um, excited to know that they're getting the real thing. And Absolutely. if you haven't enjoyed this cuisine before, you, you know the first time you taste it that yep. this really is the way it would taste if we were in the Philippines. Yes, it would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's great. In a different way. Is there something I can do here to help you? Yeah, so everything is pretty like much... I'm, like I'm of any help. Yeah. <laughs> You're the chef, of out of the way, let me help you <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. So we pretty much uh, pre-cooked the, the duck already. It's been, it, it cooked in the duck fat for two and a half hours uh, and then roasted okay. the potatoes uh, and then now it's ready to plate up. Uh, so we have our duck gravy okay. adobo. I'll take the plate right here. We'll get that on the plate. So why do you think, what, what, what made this the right time to open this restaurant? Um, well, Filipino food is uh, actually just starting to be recognized throughout Seattle. Mm -hmm. um, my really good friend and mentor, um, Melissa Miranda of Musang uh, mm -hmm. in Beacon Hill, she opened up her restaurant and Filipino food just started growing and growing. Yeah. And so I think it was just a perfect time of slot to like, hey, um, well, we don't have anything in the north side of like, you know, Filipino food. Mm -hmm. And so I think it was a perfect time. So it was really great. I got her blessing to open it up and like, it's really great. Oh, to, that's nice. To that's nice. You kind of cooperated on yeah. that. So um, can I help you yeah, plate please. some of these yeah. uh, So just have the potatoes? potato um, on the plate. Do they any, go everywhere or do yep, I keep any, them? So, anywhere okay. you want at this point. It, Okay. You, you play with your food. However. I think also people have been, you know, th with the pandemic, it's it's changed everything about mm -hmm. the way we do things, and people felt like they were kind of anchored in, anchored mm -hmm. down, shut in, yeah. and it's nice. I think people are getting out and they want to explore new yeah. things, don't they? And try something yeah. a little different. Absolutely. And so Filipino food's a great way to do yep. it. And I'll then, just okay. Reach this over here. Oh boy, here we go. This is a duck confit, nice and crispy on the top. Presentations, everything. Yeah. Everything. Uh, everything. If you've watched this show. You know that presentation, for me at least, yeah. when I'm filling in over here, yeah. it's everything. I'm very meticulous about everything I do. So usually on the adobo, we cook the egg with everything, So, but uh -huh. we wanted to make it a little bit more luxurious, so we did a six-minute egg, so it's oh a nice soft-boiled egg here. Oh, that's and they will just go right in the corners of this plate like that. And then I'm just going to have you finish up the plate with oh, a little it. bit of... So I just kind of put a little yep, on just, everything. Just put a little bit of everything. Okay. This is a fried garlic that we make in the house. Oh. Uh, some scallions to give it that nice onion taste. And Look how good I am at some this. Some cilantro. Yeah, I don't know if people realize. I don't yeah, know if at you're home, a pro. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Natural. at home it's coming across like just how really amazing I am as a chef. Yeah. Yes, this is really, the, you're, you're getting the real raw deal here. Well, not raw, we've actually cooked this. Yeah. <laughs> especially, especially for you. Yeah. Do, do I get to taste some of this? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. It, it is ready for you to taste whenever oh, you're okay. ready. Okay, sweet. Yeah. 
We also have other dishes here that yeah. like uh, you guys well, can try. Yeah. I, we'll get to that, but I wanted to put some food in my mouth first. Absolutely, go for it. Let me know how it is. Okay. Well, tell me, okay, go ahead, because my, my mouth is going to be full. This is very, <laughs> for everyone at home, we're going to let you see behind the scenes a little bit here. Yeah. Once the food goes in my mouth, I will no longer be able to speak. <laughs> so we're going to have Robbie describe the dishes, starting with this one right here. Go ahead. All right, uh, this is our um, Christy Pata song. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a collaboration with me and my sous chef. Um, mm. So it's a, a pork shank that's been um, boiled and roasted, so it's nice and crispy. This reminds me of my dad. He always cooks these uh, back at home. Oh, sweet. Um, mm. And we have our Bagong um, Korean chili place mm -hmm. uh, and some alamang, which is like a more of a fish base with vinegar and chili. So you kind of make your own wrap. Um, this is our take on a Caesar salad. This is our uh, vegan Caesar salad. It's mm -hmm. made with soy sauce, dates, uh, some wakame powder, uh, and some quinoa there for crunch. And our soy joy chicken. Everybody loves fried chicken. Uh, so this is our best version of our fried chicken. It's gluten-free. It's very crispy, uh, topped with some jalapenos and green onions. Oh, so it's got a little kick to it, It has huh? a little bit, just a oh, little bit. Oh, that's nice. Little bit, OK, I'm going to try some of that. How is that? Oh my gosh. Yay. Mm -hmm. That's really good. What's in the so what's the sauce again? Uh, so it's um, chicken stock, vinegar, mm -hmm. soy sauce, uh, garlic and onion, and bay leaf. Mm. That's so really good. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite. And a little, my mouth is full, but a little <laughs> different from what you may find anywhere else in any other, you know, there are, there are crossovers between yeah. different cultures cuisine. This is very unique, though. Thank you. Thank and I'm, you. I I'm going to get letters for saying very unique. You're only supposed to say unique. Can I try a dessert? On <laughs> Absolutely. So this is Poveron. This is mm -hmm. really, really nostalgic to me. I would always remember my parents uh, in the morning where they would toast the flour, and you could smell oh, it all the way wow. to our bedroom. Uh, and it has um, buttermilk powder, uh, sugar, flour that's been toasted. Mm -hmm. And this is a salted caramel flavor. And we also make different flavors, such as ube, um, peanuts, coconuts. Um, yeah, mm. possibility is endless. I like this. I'm going to take the yeah. rest of these <laughs> with me. So thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bun Appreciate Soy it. will be cooking at the Ballard Seafood Fest this weekend. The fest is back after a two-year hiatus. That's awesome. We've got all the details up on our website. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much.